Hey, hey, everybody. I want to show you a little bit about the membership or member press courses add on. So I love Learn Dash and I've been using Learn Dash for a little over a year. Um, really recommend it. But member press released a new add on called courses. And I'm going to walk you through um, recreating one of my courses with the member press courses add on. So we are going to go into um, Life After Blog Setup. This is a super popular um, course of mine. And we're just going to build it and learn how to use the courses add-on while we build it. So we're going to click on Add New. Under the courses add-on. And that will bring us up a new page. That's taking a little while to load. There we go. So let's type in our title, Life After Blog Setup. And over here, let's grab our description. It's taking a little while as well. So, so far, pretty similar. Here we have the title and there is our description. And um, the topics that the course covers. So we'll do that. And grab my space. All right. So here we're in the Gutenberg block builder. So nothing different from creating a post. You can add all the different blocks that you have access to. Um, and yeah, so here's our little course and let's just go ahead and, uh, we can save as a draft or we can publish. I live dangerously. We'll just save as a draft. We'll be good. All right. So in member press courses, you build out your curriculum. In Learn Dash, you go to the course builder. So, um, and go to the course builder and let's grab this first one. So, one difference is in the course builder, you do not have to create sections, um, you can just have lessons. It looks like in member press courses, you do have to add a section. Um, and then um, add lessons under that. So we're going to create a get started section. And then here is our lesson name. And then we're going to create a new section called uh, course content, lack of a better word. And we will go in and, oops, we're just going to copy the titles here. Security tips. I have two of them for right now. All right. And then we'll add one more section of next steps. And I believe I have a feedback form. So we'll do that. Okay, so let's save draft and preview what we have so far. We'll preview, preview and tab. I'm just curious to see how this looks. So it looks a lot like Learn Dash. Um, Looks like my formatting didn't take very well here, but here's a description of the course. Here's all the content. And then um, it looks like once you click on one of these, oh, I probably haven't created it yet. Okay, so we created the titles. So now we have to go in and create the content. So I'm going to guess that we're going to go right here and that's going to create our new lesson. So in Learn Dash, we can go and cancel this 
and go in and edit. Yes, we're going to leave. So on both, you get kind of a straightforward look at kind of your lessons and you can go straight into that lesson to um, work on that content. So we're just going to copy over one lesson since this is pretty slow loading. So we will grab all of the content here. And I have all of my content and the transcript. So I'm going to copy all the way down here. Hopefully that works. Not quite. Okay. Start here and go all the way down. La di da 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 di keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. All right, to there and copy. And a caveat here: I do not have the uh, block to do the tabs in this one, so it's probably not going to show up as nicely. We just have kind of the transcript and then the um, extras. And I also don't have um, my video management plugin. So both of those are going to have to be um, installed. But for now, we can just go there and we can refresh here. And go security tips. It's still going to four four update back. I wonder if we need to publish. This may be a thing where we need to publish um, the full course in order to see the whole preview. So do that view course and go security tips. Yay, it worked. So here's our security tips. And again, I don't have those nice plugins um, installed. If we go over here, let's go back to our course. And we can, oh, actually, here, no, it's not the right one. I'll give you a sneak peek of how Learn Dash appears in our course. In Learn Dash. Um, so, I'm going to go course page. We are on the course page. No, we're not. We're in Builder super confused. Course page. There we go. All right. So let's go over here and do this. I also didn't add the featured image. I wonder if that is a possibility. Assuming it is because it looks pretty much just like a custom post type. But. Featured image. There it is. All right. Yes, that is possible. So we can get the featured image up there. But so this is what it looks like in Learn Dash. It's a little cleaner. Do like the look a little bit better. Um, and then once we go into security tips, so we're comparing this, we can go over here and uh, there's our listing and there's the content. So very similar. I think I just have to work on probably some, um, the difference is I believe um, Learn Dash is taking the styles from the site. So that's how I have my stylized headers and so forth. Whereas in MemberPress 
courses, it looks like it's not taking the styles. So I could probably go back and style everything. Um, and then here is the sections, which is clean. I, I would say I don't necessarily like being placed into that block, but it is a clean, very clean way to kind of separate out the content. So I do like that. And then here we have kind of a way to get back to the main website. Um, so yeah, not bad. I think member press courses has a lot of potential. One thing I did not see in the courses functionality and I haven't done much with it. So I don't know for sure, but it doesn't look like there's any like quizzes um, ability. Um, and then some of the other things that uh, Learn Dash has as far as, you know, groups and managing groups and managing certificates. Um, there's a lot of things that Learn Dash does that is more, I would say LMS-ish, -E. that's a horrible word um, I just made up. But um, so you can get to your courses and lessons and topics. And so topics is a subsection of lessons, which so there's kind of a, you don't see sections here, but you can create sections and then um, lessons and then topics. And then you have quizzes and questions, certificates and groups and assignments. Um, so there's a lot more flexibility with the learning management part of it. But if all you're wanting to do is an asynchronous course um, that's easy to set up and you don't want the additional cost of gain learn dash, which does integrate with member press really, really nicely. Um, so you can still use both. Um, I would say member press courses is a great way to get started with courses. Um, I, so far I like it. It's very similar to learn dash. Um, and I think there's a lot of potential there. If we go courses. Yeah. Does have a participant so we can see how many participants um, and does have a really nice it does so one thing that is um, really nice is that it cleans up the interface a lot which learn dash does as well um, but that's a functionality that a lot of people want. They don't really want the styles on the site. They want just a very, very clean, ignore the full site kind of interface. So that's definitely something that um, Member Press has going for them. All right, with that, I will leave you and watch out for more Member Press um, videos coming soon. Um, and hopefully a full course on how to get that started if you want to start a, um, a membership. We'll see you next time.